I'm Kat Hill, I'm one of the instructors here at Carlson Gracie London, and I'm going to show you a technique uh, which I developed originally from a defensive position, holding big guys down uh, with the overwrap from closed guard, but it's become one of my most offensive positions, and I use it a lot in competition. So I'm going to start with Emma in closed guard. First thing I need to do, break the grip and get the overwrap. So I'm going to take a cross grip on the sleeve. My other hand is going to come underneath her wrist. It's going to grab my own wrist. And I need to break this grip off, so I'm going to lift my hips up as I shoot my arms upwards. So here, and then the hand that was on the wrist is going to go up and under, and then over up all the way over her arm. I'm going to grab the far lapel here, and only when I've got the far lapel do I let go of the grip here to make sure it's secure. So now I can let go, and now I want to move my hips out. I'm going to push off with my hand on the bicep here, move out and I'm going to stack everything here now in a line. So my knee, her shoulder, my fist, my other leg, they're in a nice line to keep her posture broken. I'm just going to finish with the arm bar from here. My, my elbow is going to go right to my hip. It's going to be super tight. I'm going to like turn my wrist forward like this. So I'm pushing her elbow forward and I'm going to lean backwards and finish. So that detail once more, elbow tight to the hip, turn, clamped, lift your hips forward here, and then you get a really nice finish. So I've got Emma in closed guard. I need to break this grip. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take my left hand, cross grip, and grab her sleeve. My right hand on the other side is gonna come underneath and grab my own wrist. Now I'm gonna lift my hips up and I'm gonna push my arms up in the air to break the grip. So here, and then my right arm is gonna go under and wrap all the way over her arm. Then with my right hand, I'm gonna grab the opposite lapel, and then when, only when I've got this, my left hand can let go of this grip so she doesn't escape. Now my left hand's gonna to go to her bicep. I'm gonna push off and move my hips out, and I'm gonna line everything up so she can't posture up. So I've got my knee, her shoulder, my right fist, and my leg. This is all super tight and squashing her down. Now I'm gonna finish the arm bar from here. My elbow is gonna to go to my hip. My fist is gonna turn outwards. So I'm just turning her elbow um, to the front and then I'm gonna lean backwards and push forward here. So that detail, elbow to the hip, nice and tight, clamp, turn my wrist forward. Then I'm gonna lean back and pop my hips forward. And then you'll get the finish. So my left hand's gonna cross, it's gonna grab her sleeve. My right hand's gonna go underneath her wrist and grab my own wrist. And I'm gonna pop my hips up as I push my arms up in the air. So I'm gonna go up and then my right hand goes all the way over and underneath, over wraps her arm and grab the opposite lapel. When well, I've got the opposite lapel, only then do I let go with my left hand from this sleeve. I don't want to let go earlier because otherwise she'll posture up and escape. But now I've got her secure. Now I'm going to push off on the far bicep now with my left hand, put my foot on the floor, and I'm going to take my hips out to the side. Here, I don't want her to posture up and to escape like this, so I'm going to put everything in a line and clamp her shoulders. So my knee, her shoulder, my wrist, and my other leg. So I've got really good control of her posture so she can't escape. Now I'm going to finish the armbar from here. To finish the armbar, I need to turn her arm forward. So I want her elbow to pop towards the front. I don't want her to turn it back uh, so that she can escape the submission. So I'm gonna make sure my elbow is clamped to my hip so I can turn her arm forward. So with everything clamped, I'm just gonna do that little talk, twist, pop my hips back and then finish. So that detail once more, clamp the elbow to the hip, the right elbow to the hip squashing everything together on her shoulder, turn my wrist forward, turn her elbow forward, lean back, and you'll get the finish. So that's the overwrap um, armbar. Um, I'm gonna show you some more techniques from there and a few other submissions.